Hey there! Today I'm trying acrylic markers for the first time and I have to say that I really love this art supply. So for the first piece that I did I used this Bristol board. Bristol board is supposed to be good for acrylic markers because it's super smooth but I still struggled with it a little bit but way less than compared to other papers. Because acrylic markers have a pretty rough texture they're actually kind of hard to use on paper. They're more supposed to be used for other materials. For example I colored, drew, painted on my guitar with them as well and I had a lot of fun of that, with that and I'm just gonna use my guitar as decor at that point because I haven't played in years so I didn't really van varnish it or fix it with anything so please don't ask me how to make it durable but you can paint on a lot of surfaces with them um, I personally just prefer paper and I wanted to try them on the Bristol board so here's my little sketch I wanted to have a cute fun magical forest because at the time when I was drawing this I really felt sick of reality to be honest and I still kind of do because so many bad things have happened this year also good things a lot of good things have happened but it's easier to focus on the bad things, I guess. I'm just trying to get in a better mindset right now. But yeah, I wanted to paint a magical forest to escape reality and to be there and be happy and have this happy little tree and just be excited about the colors and have fun with all of that. And here you can see that I was very careful with the paper and the rough nibs. Um, it handled it quite well compared to other papers. You will see me struggle a lot more with the second drawing that I'm gonna do afterwards. I never know if I should say drawing or painting because I'm kind of doing both at the same time. And I have to say I really don't like acrylic paints. I like acrylic wash because it's a little bit easier to control. I don't really like acrylic paints in general, especially not for drawings or paintings on paper. I use it more for crafts or for my mural on my wall. But I really love acrylic markers. They're different. I think that they're actually filled with gouache. That's my suspicion. They're matte. They dry matte. And I got this lovely pastel set. I'm using mostly Molotov. I think that's how you say it, markers and also a few Marabou markers that they sent me to test and I didn't really see a lot of difference between those two brands. I really like both. I'm gonna link it in the description box as best as I can, can because last time I couldn't find the exact same sets that I have but just and I said that I'm using them for the first time and then there's a last time. <laughs> Did you figure that out? Just last time I, it wasn't an acrylic marker video, it was a painting ideas video. This is the second time that I'm using them actually. But I don't have a lot of experience with them yet. So I'm gonna link all of the supplies in the description box and as best as I can uh, in case you want to buy anything of those things. They're great. I really love those markers. I have no idea if Posca pens are better than them because I haven't tried Posca pens. I want to at some point, but apparently Molotov markers are even better than Posca pens. I did a little bit of research and people said that those are even better because you can refill them and they're supposed to be a bit more light fast, but that's just what I heard and I don't know if it's true. And so here you can see it and I'm filling in my little painting and you really have to think about how you want to color it in with these markers because as far as I knew at that point, I didn't think that I could blend them but actually you can I saw a video where someone blended them but at that point I didn't know that yet 
and so I had to be creative with that and I actually think that this style is really cool where nothing is really blended too much and you just do one layer after another and they don't really run into each other. I mean I have that a lot when I use watercolors and I think that's cool and all but I just wanted to do something else and just uh, try a new medium and have a little bit of fun with it because you have to experiment every once in a while to stay creative and to stay in the flow and to have more ideas and I think that I'm gonna use the acrylic markers a little bit more. Let me know if you'd be interested in a tutorial. Um, I am getting better at them and I could do a tutorial because I've done a few pieces since filming this. I'm gonna show you the pieces later on. And yeah, I could do a tutorial, a simplified version maybe. Uh, maybe a little landscape or something that could be fun. Or maybe an acrylic marker ideas video where I do several mini pieces. If you'd be interested in that, just let me know. I don't know if a lot of people have tried this material. I think it's it's relatively unknown still, but that was the same when I started with gouache videos and now everyone knows gouache or a lot of people tried it. And so maybe I should just do a few acrylic marker videos and convince people to get another art supply and try this one as well. I don't know yet. I will see how good this video is perceived. I'm not expecting anything because I have absolutely no idea what to expect. So yeah, I'm just coloring everything in. I had so much fun with this. I loved the colors. I just love the pastel colors that I got and I just added in some little details. I think I got rid of those later on again, of those orange things. I'm not sure if I remember it correctly. I also really love those purple branches in the foreground. I think that they look so cool against the green and I just wanted everything to look super unnatural and just have fun with those colors. I really needed that. I really needed to stay in a little magical world and just breathe in and take a minute to charge up again and I think this year we can really use that and it's a good idea to do that. I'm also currently listening to the audiobooks of the Chronicles of Narnia and I love to escape to a different world and I think I'm gonna do more of these just fantastical magical drawings and paintings I just think that my little tree looks so happy. This is the finished piece, the first one that I did in this video. And now I decided that I wanted to use some black paint because those markers are incredibly opaque. They're so nice. They're, they're just so opaque. I haven't seen that with any other art material. Nothing has been that opaque. You have to do several layers with most materials, but with these, you just go over your first line that you did with a dark color and you go over it with a lighter color and it's gone. It really doesn't matter, they're so opaque. So I thought I needed black paper, I needed to try that. And yeah, they are opaque. They really covered the black paper super nicely, but also, <laughs> you need Bristol board, you need the right kind of paper for them because they just ripped this paper. I was so careful, but the paper really couldn't handle those markers. I also recently bought black watercolor paper 
I have no idea whether that would be better or not because watercolor paper sometimes is really soft as well and so maybe it's gonna rip that one as well. I will try that and maybe it's gonna work, maybe not. I'm gonna use the black watercolor paper for gouache probably. That's gonna be fun as well. So here you can see that I did this sketch. I used a white colored pencil and just roughly sketched in a little moth. I think that those colorful moth paintings, they look so cool. When in real life I'm terrified of moths, kind of. I think they're so disgusting. <laughs> at least those little ones that you have at home. We used to have a lot of them at my parents' house when I was still living there and I kind of... I've been hating them ever since. I once bit into a snack and there were their little wor worms or lave or whatever you call it they were in there and I realized that after biting into it <laughs> since then I've hated moths but I really like those super colorful ones I've seen so many cool illustrations of those and so I want to do more of them they look so much more interesting than butterflies because you can add anything it, this one has this weird kind of tail and I think it looks so cool it's so fun I added in a lot of dots and lines to make it look more fun and interesting and I love the colors that I used for it And then I also decided that I want to have a little rainbow in the background. I think that that adds a lot of fun detail as well. It looks kind of like a tarot, tarot, tarot card. <laughs> How do you pronounce that in English? Um, because it looks kind of magical, fantastical. And I think that I'm gonna make this one, no, I'm sure I'm gonna make this one into one of the Patreon exclusive prints for December. Um, I scanned that one in and then I edited out all the rough texture from the pens in Photoshop. And then I'm still gonna add a back in a few details with my iPad and then I will make this into a print if you want to get one of those sign up to my patreon in December you have until the end of the month because the rewards will be sent out at the beginning of next month or if you want to have a digital print there's also a tier for that that's a little bit cheaper in case you don't need the physical one but if you want the physical one and other fun rewards there are also gonna be stickers and let's see what else I can come up with for December um, if you want to receive that join and join the physical rewards tiers I'd love to see you on my patreon I also have other fun rewards just check it out I will link it in the description box as always. So here I'm adding in a few sparkles to finish it up and this is our finished little marker painting. And like I promised, here are the other paintings that I did in the meantime. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did so, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!